Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So we're going to talk about this very new and very awesome AI. If you're living or you're creating some visuals and infographics, this is the one for you guys. It is actually fairly new. I have just discovered about it a few moments ago. So we're going to call it Napkin AI. Yes, you heard the right napkin as in the tissue paper or your dining tissue paper or even your napkins on your dinner tables. So for this video, we're going to talk about Napkin AI Review. Streamline your brainstorming process. What it does is basically, it's going to be creating infographics for us to use. So start by pasting your text, as you can see right here. And then for the second one, click the uh, generate the visuals, polish it up and make it yours. Now, since this is going to be a free AI for use, of course, there are going to be some subscription plan. Now let's talk about the pricing. So here we have it. So as you can see right here, there is not a payment method or a price just yet. So for the professional plan, supposedly this is free, or sorry about that, supposedly this is paid, right? But right now it's currently free during the beta phase. For the starter plan, of course this is free. So for dedicated visual creators and planners scale in their project, so everything in starter, including this one. So for now we're going to focus on starter plan, and then we're going to create a video for you guys if you really need for the professional plan, alright? So let's get inside Napkin right now. So welcome back to the video. So this is going to be inside Napkin. If you're familiar with Norton, it's basically the same user interface, and it's going to be dark with this one. That being said guys, if you want to change the theme, simply click on your profile logo in the top right corner. You can choose light, you can choose your system or auto, or basically go dark. For me, I really work, or I really appreciate the dark colors theme. Anyway, right here, just type in whatever you have, for example, I'm going to go with this. I'm going to name this one tutorial box, something like this one company. So this is going to be my header. This is going to be the company history. Basically, it's just a sample um time graph or time frame to create a time graph. So take note, guys, this are simple um text here with no graphics. And basically with this one, if I simply click on that lightning icon right there, as you can see, click lightning to launch auto spark with this one without doing anything else i'm still moving my cursor here to show you guys that i'm not doing anything else this are real time being generated as of now so company loses goes private it's gonna be the second i think and with that being scared scroll to explore click to validate so you can choose your styles here as example right here so which one do you want i'm going with the color visual right here and then going down right there, you can change this one. Move it right here. And basically, that's it. Now, that is basically the first one. Now, moving forward, what if we create the whole um, company here? The auto spark right there. And basically, with this one, you can choose which one do you want. Maybe a bar graph, a bar chart. We have this one also. This one also is going to be here. Now, everything here, guys, is perfectly free. I think I'm going to go with this one. This is much more professional looking. The pillars of the tutorial box company. Now, if you have an infographic already for this one, you can choose the colors, the color palette. For example, I think I'm going to go with this one. The gray works better. For the font, you can choose one of each. You can change the shape of the logo or infographic. You can make it shine. And there is going to be an open group option. And of course, guys, this is what we love the most. You can download this infographic as a PNG, SVG. You heard me right. You can vectorize this one or as a PDF, basically. And basically, that's it. And now moving forward on the lower section, we have a label maker. So basically, with this one, it's just like a text box. For example, you can type sample one here and then sample two sample three right there and basically if i hover this one right here i can make my very own infographics from this samples right there i can do this one for suggestions for example i can click that click this one for logos or add this one right there i can use this option to add comment about this um apply bold format or weight or with this one i can just add that logo right there easy as that now what is this pen right here so since this is a napkin, if I click on this one and then just draw a heart right here, 
Now what I'm doing right now is basically sketching. There is an option to create lines to make it more vectorized or linear for all of those um, artists right there that are not so good. Same as myself. This is pretty helpful for us. It gives us an arrow right there. Now what is this image option? So these are now images based on our header. So since our header is Chatural Box Company, our images are now basically under it. You can upload your own photo, um, go to another link, or basically with this one, you can search it up. For example, let's go for food here. If I click on answer right there, every images will now be related to food. But if I click on this one right here, I can now use this infographic as an image in my napkin AI. Take note guys, you heard me right. You can download this as a PNG if you want to use it as a stock photo. SVG is right there and PDF is right there. You can change the frame, whatever you see fit. I think we're going to go with this cloud icon. Pretty awesome, right? Now, there is still one option here. For example, if I select the first one earlier, I'm going to go with this. And now, since let's just ignore that icon right there. What if we don't have that? We have this spark search right here. If you can see that icon, by the way, guys, you can also cite this one. For example, add some hyperlinking, comment, other one, and bullet your format right here. Now, what do I mean by cite? Now, these are for citation studies. If I click on this one right there, that is now cited for everyone to use. Now, let me try this Spark Search right here. Basically, Spark Search is right here. You can use cat, pi, arrow, bar rectangle basically complements whatever content you have let's go for pi here this is going to be an editable chart based on your um content so if i click on this one right here for example i want to change that one to let's go for 100 like this one i'm going to go for 2 or 23 now take note before i enter this one whatever number i put gives me the exact interactive as a whole pie chart for example if i go for 50 here i'm getting half of the pie if i go for 75 i'm getting more than half perfect right and with that being said if i click on percentage right here and that will be good to go easy as that now of course guys you can take this to beehive to shopify and all other social media on platforms right there if you're satisfied with it now you can share this option right this bottom right there for example Choose which can view, comment, and edit. And then you are the owner. You can download this whole napkin as a PDF with this option right here. Or you can basically copy the link and send it to any of your friends. Take note guys, you can need to adjust the authorization right here or their access. Alright? That being said, this is a pretty new option. If you want a gonna be a new napkin, simply click on that one right there. You can draft with AI or blank napkin. Now, if I click on Draft the AI here, what if I'm looking for a gardening technique? Let me just fix my gardening right there. Now, this is creating via AI. So, the best practices for higher reviews right here, pricing, brand proposal, recognizing type performance on your team. If I click on continue right there, I'm not doing anything here, guys. I'm just showing how it works. AI is creating my content for me. From top to bottom, AI is doing it. As you can see right here, AI is writing your team. Now, if I click right now for AutoSpark, it's gonna read my content, or rather the content created by AI. I can now choose the Ingram graphics, perfect for this content. I'm gonna go with this one and choose a style with much more color. Perfect, I think I'm good with this one. Easy as that. You can now edit this one. For example, you wanna change this for sample one like so whatever you see fit easy as that guys so again thank you so much for watching please hit the like button subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye for now